Hey boys and girls, it's good to see you again. Today, I thought I'd tell you about the tiger and the zebra. This is a story, and every good story has a moral. And a moral means, what have you learned from this story? So as you're listening to the story, what do you think it means? So here's the story of the tiger and the zebra. The tiger phoned the zebra and invited him to dine. He said, if you could join me, that'd simply be divine. The zebra said, I thank you, but respectfully declined. I heard you ate the antelope. He was a friend of mine. On hearing this, the tiger cried, I must admit it's true. I also ate the buffalo, the lima, and the new. And yes, I ate the warthog, the gazelle, and kangaroo. But I can never eat a creature as beautiful as you. You see, I have a secret I'm embarrassed to confide. I look on you with envy and a modicum of pride. Of all the creatures ever known, the tiger gently sighed. It seems they are the only two with such a strengthy hide. Now seeing how we share this strong resemblance of skin, I can only conclude that we are just as close as kin. This means you are my brother, and though fearsome I have been, I could not eat my brother, that surely be a sin. The zebra thought, and then replied, I'm certain you are right. The stripy coats we both possess are such a handsome sight. My brother, will you let me reconsider if I might? My calendar is empty, so please, let us die tonight. The tiger met the zebra in his brand new fancy car and drove him to the restaurant, which wasn't very far. And when they both were seated at the table near the bar, the zebra asked, What's on the grill? The tiger said, You are. But please, you cannot dine on me, the outraged zebra cried. To cook me up and eat me is a thing I can't abide. You asked me for your trust, and I unwarily complied. You said you could not eat me, now you plan to have me fried. And what about the envy and the modicum of pride, and one of us as brothers, since we share a strength behind? Sorry, said the tiger, and he smiled as his reply. But I love the taste of zebra, so in other words, I love. So that's the story of the tiger and the zebra. And the moral of the story that I think is that you should be very wary of strangers and always think twice before you go outside. Good to see you. Hope you're doing fine. See you again next week.